So what happened to all the rules? This tweet says JP Morgan was able to acquire the First Republic Bank, which is, as a day or so ago, another bank that allegedly is going under. Despite the rule against one bank controlling more than 10% of U.S. deposits, but now JP Morgan holds more than $2.4 trillion in deposits. So a few things on this. First of all, the rule of a bank not being allowed to control more than 10% of all U.S. deposits. Now, the rules as of this last year seem to be continuously just be moved around. There are certain rules in the money and banking world that are continuously just being changed, depending on whether who's breaking them. On top of that, a lot of the apes, a lot of us said over a year ago that we are going to see massive banks and massive hedge funds collapse because of the way that they are running their businesses very irresponsibly, at least in our perspective. And what do you know, just a year or so later, we're seeing hedge fund after hedge fund, bank after bank, collapse right in front of our eyes. Here's some interesting data, guys. As of recently, we saw that there's 3.8 million retail apes. I bet most of you have more than 136 shares. So click to vote. So here's some voting from a Twitter poll with around 16,000 votes. So it's not a tiny sample size by any means. And Cat Striker said 3.8 million shareholders only need to have an average of 136 shares. And I'm betting that a lot of you have more than 136 shares. After all these years, I'm betting that a lot of you guys do too. And what do you know? The majority of apes say that they have 1,000 to 5,000 shares. The second highest says they have 136 to 1,000. The next highest says they have over 10,000 plus. And the smallest amount says they have 0 to 135 shares. If nothing else, this data is interesting to say the least. But seriously, when did we go from fundamentals don't matter to fundamentals are everything? I've been here since January 2021 in the stock market long before that. I've seen companies with the worst fundamentals possible, squeeze hard and companies with perfect balance sheets trade flat. I'm convinced that is this market. Fundamentals don't matter. Luckily, the squeeze here is still on as we have incredible retail backing and all the numbers show a squeeze should happen. I'm still here for the squeeze, not fundamentals. I don't care what anyone says, perfect fundamentals will not cause a squeeze.